Okie dokie. In this video, I'm going to be adding some base styles to the localhost blog. Um, for those of you that watched the video series um, back in 2019, I put together a um, um, a Gatsby and a Gatsby blog that uses um, MDX. So it's like a developer blog where you can add in um, your um, nice syntax highlighting, um, but it's a bit Spartan. It's 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 in need of some TLC for how it looks. So um, I've set up a, a project on the GitHub repository, and um, I'm, I'm going to be adding in some uh, some fonts um, and some res like a reset for all of the styles here. Um, and then in uh, coming videos, I'm going to be adding in um, more of the the styles and stuff we'd expect to see in a like a modern website. So. Um, uh, you also see this move site to now sh that's going to be uh, another video and uh, it's basically um, all of blog.scottspence.me is now moved to the localhost blog or the localhost.blog um, so there's going to be some some more content where uh, I'll go over how uh, I manage that transition and how it's going but for now let's just get these um, this this reset added and uh, we'll add in like a, a base um, base styles for for the site. So let's go to the uh, the code. And uh, first up, we're going to need to go to the terminal here, and um, we we'll do yarn dev, spin up the um, got it open already. I haven't. So that will open up the dev server. And we'll have uh, a preview going. And we're going to want to add in um, the uh, Gatsby plugin web font loader. And um, you see, I've done it for previous sites here Gatsby plugin web font loader and uh, styled reset. So while they are installing and while the, the, the dev server is spinning up, we're going to go into um, our code here. And we're going to want to bring it in. Uh, a base theme, um, which is um, we're going to have a folder for theme, and then we're going to have global style. Okay, so um, I noticed um, Jason Langsdorf um, doing this quite a lot, and I didn't know you can do it. You can actually put in a folder and then add in your file afterwards as well, um, which is cool. So in um, our global style, we're going to want to have um, things like um, the uh, global style. So we want to import the um, create global style from style components and also the uh, style reset we just made. So create global style and uh, import uh, reset. There's the dev servers to spun up. Ooh, cool, 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 cool. Let's switch back. Sorry about that. So uh, reset from styled reset. Okay. Um, so with um, style components, you get a theme provider component, which um, if you provide it a theme, you can then use those throughout the whole uh, application website. Um, so what we need to do is um, just define some fonts to begin with, I guess. Um, so we want to export this as a const or a let. Doesn't matter these days. <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to have fonts. And then in here, um, I've already picked out some fonts. So we want um, sans, serif, and monospace. Um, <clears throat> let's just, um, do that and that for now, and then we'll just copy this down here. So we want sans, um, serif, monospace. Okay, and uh, we want poppins. My sans or sans, sans serif. Uh, for the fallback and uh, pretty which is 
pretty, pretty, because it's pretty. Um, so apologies, I'm looking at um, Google fonts here and tons of fonts. You could waste a lot of time going through here and picking your stuff out. But basically all I've done is found some fonts I'd like to use on my site. Click on this plus icon here um, and then let's just get rid of that. Um, you get the option to customize what you want. So I'm bringing in regular and bold for each one. Here selected for space mono, um, pop in some pretty. And then you get this embed, um, which is historically how you used to do it with dog components. So uh, if you go to like my blog here, um, it's going to follow this pattern really. So we've got create global style here, and then you export your create global style as um, uh, as like a as it a function, and then you can import your fonts here. And then these get applied at the like the global level. Um, but um, in version five of um, style components, no breaking changes apart from um, recommend not using at import inside of create global style. Um, so that is why I went ahead and installed um, the Gatsby plugin web font loader. The other option is to do it in the HTML index file. Um, but that's not easily exposed in Gatsby. Um, obviously the best, obviously, sorry, the uh, the best way to do it in Gatsby is via a plugin. And obviously, sorry, keep saying obviously, someone, but obviously someone has made a plugin for it. <laughs> um, so let's go back to where we were in the code. Um, and pretty is, Four hundred, seven hundred. We're going to use these in the um, Gatsby plugin web font loader, but we also need to define them in um, in our code here. So pretty is um, sans and uh, mono space. We're going to have in some double quotes here. Space mono and uh, mono space. That's the fallback. Um, and then uh, we're going to want to um, have use our global style here as well. So um, export const um, create global style equals the help function we got from style components here. And then just for now, we're going to inside a variable inside the back ticks. We're just going to use the reset for now. And then we're going to um, put these fonts on the body. But uh, let's just take a look at localhost blog here. And we just highlight some of this and inspect. I'm using Firefox. Um, you can see the fonts here, Deja Vu Sans, which I believe is the default font for a, a, like Ubuntu Linux systems. Um, if you're using Windows, this is probably going to be in Times New Roman, and uh, I'm not sure what the default font is for uh, Mac, Helvetica, I guess. Um, so we're going to want to apply these to the, the body and the HTML, um, but first we want to set up this um, this theme in, with create global style. We're going to have global style applied as high up the component tree as possible. Um, so with how we did it in here, um, as high up the component tree as possible is our root wrapper. Um, so we're going to apply it up here via the um, uh, the theme provider, which is given to you by style components. Um, so if we hit save on this, um, and then we go to our root wrapper. Um, and we're going to, we're going to wrap everything in so theme preferred. So here we've got uh, the intelligence come up and we've got auto import from style components. What we'll do, and then this takes a theme prop and then that theme prop is going to be our theme object we made. And we're going to want to import that from, not from there. Yeah, yeah from source theme global style. 
and then uh, we just close that component move this up here hit save and uh, something isn't quite right so theme provider from style components yep theme from global style I just had to hit just had to hit save again okay so nothing should have changed here because we're not actually applying anything else um, what we could do is now take our global style um, and also bring this under the theme provider here global global style that should be an auto import there we go from source theme global style and then that's a self closing one so if we hit save now the um, the reset should have been applied which it has been and wow before it looked bad before <laughs> um, and if we take a look at the fonts um, that there still should be yeah, deja vu sets but now we're going to go and add in um, stuff to the the rest of um, like the, the styling for the rest of the site so uh, oh god border, can't forget, mustn't forget border box uh, it's just about to do the html so we have store it's just uh, um, gonna copy paste this in of the border box reset and then uh, HTML um, so box size and border box bring that down here and then uh, some smooth scroll behavior scroll behavior smooth um, and then font family and then we can bring in our theme prop here so that's just a snippet I've made um, because I use style components a lot. Um, but this is basically bringing, this is getting the theme, which is supplied via the root wrapper here. Um, and then we're gonna just go through the object to get the fonts. And we're going to want uh, serif, is it sans serif? Um, or poppins. Poppins, 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 it's sans, sorry. Hit save on that. Take a look at the site. Okay. So, different font, still looks terrible. Um, oh, it hasn't applied it. Um, excuse me? It looks different. different. Oh, okay. Okay, so font family theme font fonts and okay, so let's go to our React components here um, and take a look at the theme provider here. Um, and if we take a look at the props, we can see we've got our theme. Move this. No, we can't move it. Okay. So, and then we've got our fonts, um, space mono, um, and serif. Okay. So, oh, they're not available because we haven't configured them. So, let's be config. Let's go and add in another object here. Um, and that's just going to resolve. In, in there, Scott. Here, let's be plugging a font loader. Let's copy that, get that in some back ticks. And um, I'm going to guess its options. Let's take a look at the, uh, the documentation now. This uh, options, which is another object, and then oh, another bit inside that. So it's Google Fonts. Uh, let me out. And, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing my throat, apologies. We are going to want to have it for bobbins, uh, pretty, and space mono. So, so, so. And we're going to want it for uh, regular and bold. We're going to put a colon there and uh, 400, comma, 700. Um, pretty. So 
how you spell it. Yep. Uh, again, 400, 700, and uh, space mono, which I'm going to presume you can just put in like this. Um, uh, wow. 100, 700, save. And because we've changed the Gatsby config, um, let's just check actually. I've always known if you change the Gatsby config, then um, you have to restart your dev server. Take a look. Check that. Yep, okay, so let's just uh, restart the dev server. Okay, so um, while this is um, spinning up, um, there are some great Egghead IO um, courses, which um, I was watching um, on Friday from Adam Wathen, which is uh, for Tailwind. Uh, Tailwind CSS, um, great utility first um, uh, CSS tooling. Um, and in here, um, this is the, uh, the Tailwind full config. And this was just like um, mind blown for me when I went through this and looked at this. I was like, oh, wow, this is fantastic. We could use all of this for the, um, for the theme, which is, um, see the start of it started making out here for fonts. We could also put it in for colors. Colors spelt the uh, English way um, because that's how you spell it. <laughs> we like extra um, uh, letters in, in our words here in the UK. So, has that popped open now? Take a look. Um, for some reason, it's been really slow, the dev server spinning up. So, let's just uh, close that. We've already got one open here. And uh, we'll see what fonts load in. I mean, if you're asking me, that looks like poppins. And it is Poppins, so the web font loader did its thing. Um, so we can now start adding in things like uh, colors um, and other base things as well. So that's the, uh, where has, here it is, I seem to have closed it, apologies. Okay. So I'm going to take these greys from here and uh, black and white as well, and tra why not transparent as well. And we're going to pop those in our colors. So transparent, uh, black, white, gray, gray, yay. Ray. and save on that. Um, so we can start sort of picking through these properties now in um, you know HTML. So um, we can go on and add in the color, color, and then you, again use the theme props, and this will be theme colors and um gray 100 hit save on that so i'm just accessing this and then 900 here so if we take go back to site and obviously these are all links you know, we're going to need to go through styling these in another video but if we take a look here um and then do correct element and we take a look at the color is here and then we do a find so there we go um let's just applied it to uh, html so cool um i think that's all we need to do for like the the base uh, for the body uh like font weight padding margin and line height 
Um, let's put in some line height actually. Um, so and then possibly some letter spacing as well because it's really close together doesn't quite look right at all um, we need to define uh, the links uh, the paragraphs and a lot of other things which will need to be folded in at a later date but for for now we've got in like a, a base font which we can use throughout the site um, I think that will be it for this video because um, the rest of the stuff is going to be um, a bit long winded. Me adding in all the colors, I'm going to add in, there's like a shade selector. Um, I want to have a like a primary color for the website, um, which is probably going to be a scale of uh, the Rebecca purple, which is um, the, uh, the Gatsby purple. Going to get several shades of that. Um, and apply those to the theme. I want to work on the letter spacing here, um, but before we do any of that, there's still um, things like um, uh, page elements. Um, we need to be we need to add in things for the H ones, the uh, the A tags, um, linked uh, uh, list items, un unordered lists, paragraph, and just just. A lot of stuff basically needs adding to this just to get it um, up to up to scratch basically. But for um, for what I've done in this video, um, so we've configured Gatsby plugin web font loader, and we have set the uh, the font for the body of the site, um, and then I just need to go and create a lot of other components which we're gonna. We're going to put it into our page elements here because um, we've already got one for code. But there's 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 a lot of other stuff we need to um, to make and add in to our uh, our root wrapper here, which will be folded in with the elements. Um, so for our components here, we have one for H2, which is still Rebecca Purple. So if I just change this to H1, um, we should see local host blog. H1 should be yeah that I mean not not the most um, red. It's probably not going to show because it's part of a an A tag. Um, Ryan Perseverus, no, it's not. So um, there's there's more stuff to be done. But for this video, I've just gone over how to. Let's just recap. <laughs> um, add in a um, font to be um, accessible throughout the application with uh, Gatsby plugin web font loader. Um, we've also gone code um, over creating the, like the beginning of a, a style system for the rest of the site, um, where we can we can sort of swap out these sort of things quite quickly in um, via the theme provider. Um, so when we go ahead and create things for a tags, um, you know, paragraphs, insets, and list items, we can we can quickly iterate on what we've got in our our theme here. Um, so we'll be building on that in uh, in, in future content. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave it at that. So thanks for watching. I hope you found some of it useful. Um, please remember to um, like comment and subscribe if you feel that way inclined um, but for now thank you very much and i'll catch you in the next one